Hi students, I'm Pramit Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing what is an octal number system. So in the previous lectures, we had discussed about the binary number system as well as the decimal number system. And currently in this lecture, we are discussing about the octal number system. So as we all know, the number systems are based upon the what are the bases we are using or what are the radix we are using. In the octal number system, the radix or the base used is the 8. That's why the number system is known as octal number system. So 8 is the base or radix value that is used in the octal number system. So in a number system, based on this radix value, the total number of digits are counted by using this radix value. The limit of a number is counted by using the equation 0 to radix minus 1. 0 to radix minus 1. Here in the octal number system, the radix value is 8. That is, the limit of numbers are ranging from 0 to 8 minus 1. That is, 0 to 7, which simply means that the total number of digits available in this number system are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the last digit available is 7. So there are 8 digits available in the octal number system ranging from 0 to 7. So next, when we come to the counting of this number system, the counting is always starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and after 7 the next digit is not at all 8. Apart from writing 8 we are writing it as 0 with a prefix of 1. So the next number will be 1 with a prefix of 1. So the next number will be 1, 2 and the number will be 1, 3 Next will be 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6 and 1, 7. Instead of writing 1, 8, we are writing 0 with a prefix of 2. So here the prefix value. In the first set of numbers, the prefix is nil or 0. In the second set of numbers, the prefix is 1. And in the third, the prefix will be 2. And of course, the next set of series, the prefix value will be 3. So the next number will be 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7. And after 2, 7, we will write it as 0 with a prefix of 3. So the next number will be 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, etc. up to 3, 7. And after 3, 7, we will write it as 4, 0, 1, etc. up to 4, 7. So this set of numbers will go to the infinite set of limits. So there arises a question, what is the advantage of this octal number system? So in the previous lecture, we had discussed the binary number system. All the computer and electronic devices are using the binary number system. Then why we are studying or we are detailing this octal number system? Since the binary number system consisting of only two digits, they are 0 and 1, and all the representations, the numeric representation, alphabets, paragraph, letters, everything in the digital devices are represented by using this binary set of code. So as these code consists of only two digits, those digits are 0 and 1, the human are unable to follow the pattern or memorize all the values available in this digital binary number system. So instead of memorizing all the available codes, this octal number system mediates the representation of binary to a decimal number system or this octal number system will share the concept or share the idea behind the binary to decimal number system. So let us see an example. Before example, let us consider the binary numbers. The decimal equivalent of the binary number 0, 0, 0 is 0. 0, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 1, 0 is 2, and 0, 1, 1 is 3, 1, 0, 0 is 4, 1, 0, 1 is 5, 1, 1, 0 is 6, and 1, 1, 1 is 7. So now let us consider an example. For example, 
let a binary representation of a sequence of data be 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 so we doesn't know what is coded in this binary representation for decoding this binary data let us group these data from the least significant bit that is lsb into a three digit grouping so we are grouping it as group one and another set of three data is grouped into second data and the third group is starting from here to here okay so now go through this chart zero one one the data 0, 1, 1, the octal equivalent is 3. For the data 0, 1, 1, again the octal equivalent is 3. 0, 1, 1, the octal equivalent is 3. And 0, 1, 0, the octal equivalent is 2. So the octal data 3, 3, 3, 2 is coded or read it in an electronic device or a computer device as 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So this octal number system can be used as an intermediate representation between the binary number system as well as a decimal number system. So my dear students, this is an introduction to the octal number system. In the upcoming lecture, we will discuss how to convert a decimal number into an octal number. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.